Hello, I'm Pete McCallan. This song we're going to learn today is I Hear Your Voice, um, off the album I Hear Your Voice. And um, I'm going to play a section of the song to you and then explain how I approach playing that. And then we go through the rest of the song bit by bit to explain how to play each section. So here we go. This is the start of I Hear Your Voice. My heart is burning With the latest troubles Along with the night light song I'm hidden from the morning Trees are wrestling The winter air Break through the thoughts that I want to let go And open up a new dawn I hear your voice I hear the sound Calling me out Calling me loud So that's verse one, verse two, and then the chorus. And the way I approach playing it is um, I use my little finger and my third finger um, all the way up to the the, um, tenth fret, and they go next to each other on the G string and the B string. And you're literally just picking them away. And then you change to this shape here, which is simply moving from the fourth finger on the B string to the first finger two frets below on the B string and you're just interchanging all the way through the verse so my heart is burning with the latest troubles and then back again and you're doing that over and over again then you get to the chorus and the chorus is bar chord shapes um, and we go to the B flat I hear your voice Again, you're picking to the C. Calling me out, calling me loud. And you want to let it ring, but not for too long, because then you're going back to the picking pattern there. So it's really important. Let it ring. Mute it before you go into playing it. Verse 3 is very similar to verse 1 and 2. And then you get back to the chorus again, which is the same shapes. Um, Then after the chorus, calling me out, calling me loud. So after the chorus, we get to the instrumental. And the instrumental chords are very simple. They're the B flat. Go down to the A major and then to the F. And we cycle that several times around. And so on. Then you get to the section where there's a lovely little bass line. Um, And if you're playing on your own, then you might want to add this in as well, um, which I quite like doing when I'm playing solo. I wouldn't do it if I was in a band, um, but for this setting, acoustic, it's fine. Um, And it's an octave shape, so um, all you're doing is your first finger on the B flat, and then you go two across and two up, which creates the octave. Um, And you're going B flat to the C, then down to the A. way up to the D so it's really important you know your notes on the E string so that you can quickly move up to that Um, I really enjoy playing this part and sometimes add a little tiny slap in there as well or you can at this point get your pick out And 
then you're back into the chorus. I hear your voice. Picking it this time. I hear the sound calling me out, calling me loud. Again, I hear your voice and I hear the sound calling me out. And this time we go down to the A, to the F, and then slide back on the B flat. So it's quite a simple song, um, quite a delicate song, and it was written um, with people in mind who might be going through insomnia um, or any form of anxiety. Where often at night time, you know, it's some of those fears and worries often are magnified, um, even the fear of not being able to get to sleep. And um, so I wrote this with, with my wife Lizzie. We wrote it several times over, and finally came up with this final version. And um, the, the story of the song is really, you know, even though I'm in that state, um, I can still hear the voice of God. Um, it might be like a whisper, um, but inside it's like a shout. And just I hope that if anyone does have to go through anything like that in the future, um, this song will just encourage you and, and really speak to you in those night hours. So I hope you enjoy playing it. Um, it's quite a fun song to play, um, but it's got quite a deep meaning. Enjoy. <laughs> 